Hello, my name is Chris Allen, and I'm the board chair of the Catholic Foundation of Michigan. What inspires me about the Catholic Foundation of Michigan is our ability to unleash the gospel in Michigan in ways that help so many communities. By unleashing the gospel, we're able to share Christ's ministry in a total different way. Connecting with people, neighborhoods, community-based organizations that are inspired by the ministry of Christ. Today, we're excited to take you on a journey that showcases the incredible impact of our annual granting funds. We are inspired by Christ and our community and the power of our shared story. It reminds us that our shared story is not just a collection of experiences. It's a powerful force that connects and empowers us. At the Catholic Foundation of Michigan, our mission is clear to make a positive impact on our community guided by the values and teachings of Christ. In the spirit of Christ's love, the Catholic Foundation of Michigan is on a sacred mission to serve our community, to inspire charitable giving and assist donors in providing for the long-term needs of the Catholic parishes, schools, ministries, and nonprofit organizations in Michigan. Our granting is at the heart of what we do. Responsive grants provide the means to turn our mission into reality, supporting projects and organizations that make a difference. They are guided by an unwavering faith that every act of kindness and service is an act of love. My name is uh, Anthony Trudell. I'm the principal of Divine Child High School. For just about a decade, our instructional support program has been a trailblazer in the Archdiocese of Detroit, allowing students with learning differences to have access to a Catholic education where they normally otherwise wouldn't have. We want to do more. Our mission statement calls us uh, to unconditional love and we want to not rest on our laurels. So we know that there are students with even greater needs out there. This grant is gonna allow us to take the next steps of uh, bringing those numbers up and even grant greater access to other students that, that really desire a Catholic education. My name is Joseph Falvey. I am the uh, married father of nine children. My daughter, uh, Isabella, is a student at Divine Child High School. She has uh, cognitive challenges, intellectual challenges that make school difficult for her, but she had successfully uh, attended parochial school. We were very fortunate to have the option of sending her here to Divine Child. Divine Child gives her the opportunities that she wouldn't get anywhere else. This is important to us because it has allowed Bella to go to school and get that high school experience that all high school kids get. My wife and I are blessed to have an adopted granddaughter who has Down syndrome. She's eight years old right now. We've been wondering what's going to happen with Julia when the time comes for her to go to, to grade school and the time comes for her to go to high school. As the ISP program here at Divine Child grows and develops, it gives us great hope that a child like Julia will also be able to benefit from this education and this program. Thank you to not only uh, the Catholic Foundation of Michigan, but to all the benefactors of the St. Margaret of Costello grant that are gonna make it possible for us to extend that outreach even further. God bless you and continue the amazing work you're doing. My name is Father Matthew Hood, and I'm the chaplain here for Detroit Catholic Campus Ministry, which is the campus ministry that serves at Wayne State University, the University of Michigan Dearborn, College of Creative Studies, and Henry Ford College. Uh, DCCM is meant to be a place of renewal within the church. There are over 46,000 students on the campuses that we serve, and uh, what this grant goes to support is everything we're doing to make sure that we're able to encounter as many students as possible. One of the main things we do for outreach is inviting students to join a Bible study. For student leadership, we have our student leadership retreat that we have at the beginning of every year. It's an opportunity to invite the students to say yes to being on mission on campus. My name is Nathaniel Turner. I'm a fifth year student at Wayne State University. I'm studying chemistry and I am planning on graduating this December where I'm going to go full-time on mission with focus. DCCM has had a major impact in my own life. I got baptized last year and I would just keep praying. I'm like, what's next? 
I didn't get baptized just to go to Mass on Sunday and nothing else. And then that's when DCCM kind of showed up and invited me in and propelled me forward in my own faith. We are so grateful to the Catholic Foundation of Michigan and all of the supporters that contribute uh, to this grant. It is such a tremendous gift, really to invite you to share in the mission that we're doing here on campus. My name is Katie Montez and I am the Executive Director at Mary's Mantle, a residential program for homeless pregnant women in Metro Detroit. Mary's Mantle has been in operation since 2010 and we've served 101 women to date and their need is great. We know that transitional housing and building apartments is really the route that we want to grow our, our programming and so this grant is going to allow us to help share that story about how we want to build 12 units for our moms to be able to continue to live with us long term. This grant will really benefit our moms, which in our community for who we serve is, is homeless pregnant women. And so we really want to continue to support them even longer. And we know that transitional apartments is a great way to do that. On behalf of all of the Mary's Mantle staff and board, we are very thankful for the Catholic Foundation and all of the donors that make it possible. Hi, my name is Miranda. I'm a mom at Mary's Mantle. My son Akil is seven months old. Um, being, uh, being a mother is one of the best things that has ever happened in my life. When I first came to Mary's Mantle, I was scared and I was worried about what was going to come next. I wasn't sure where I was going to go. I wasn't sure where the future was going to be for my son. So Mary's Mantle has given me the space to really get to know my son and really get to know myself. One of the things that I'm most excited about is um, I'm working on becoming Catholic. I'm going through the process to, to become Catholic and my son is going to get baptized on December 10th of 2023 and I'm really excited about it. When I was younger, I don't think I had the opportunity to really understand what being Catholic means and now that I've been introduced through Mary's Mantle and Corpus Christi, I'm, I'm sold, I'm excited to be, become Catholic. There are so many women who struggle with a lot of the things that I've been through and thanks to Mary's Mantle, I feel a lot more confident about moving forward. I'm really excited about the future. On behalf of the Foundation Board, I want to express my gratitude to all of our supporters who make the work we do possible. Your generosity and belief in our mission continue to ensure our ministries are supported. One shared story connects us, shapes us, and teaches us. Our shared story motivates us and empowers us. We hope it lifts your spirit and gives you a sense of the incredible work in progress to support the community. With your support, we can grow these funds and grant even more in the future. Thank you.